Hi my Newtons, I hope you are all following level up series. We have done polar coordinate theory. We have done couple of questions on polar coordinate. And if you have not seen that, please watch my previous video. And here is this question, which is from a good book of physics, LSNA. And this question can be solved either by geometry or you can solve it by using polar coordinates. So let me try to solve this question using polar coordinates. The question says that there is a stunt rider on a, uni, a unicycle and is riding around an arena of a circus in a circle of radius r. So this circle is of radius r and this bicycle driver or unicycle driver uh, is driving this bicycle and this actually bicycle is perpendicular to this circle. Okay, so he's just imagine that he's just driving that unicycle around a circle so that uh, the wheel of the circle is uh, or wheel of the cycle is perpendicular to the plane of this arena. And uh, the circle of radius R, capital R, and the radius of the wheel is R. And angular velocity with which the wheel rotates is omega. So angular velocity with which the wheel is rotating is omega. What is the angular acceleration of the wheel? Now we have to calculate the angular acceleration of the wheel. And this uh, angular velocity, we can assume it to be constant. It is constantly rotating with this angular velocity, omega. So you have to calculate angular acceleration. Now you will say, sir, uh, if this angular velocity is constant, then how come angular acceleration? So that is where the interesting part is. And this fact actually tells us, ignore the fact that the wheel axis is inclined, which means we can actually take uh, this center in the same plane of this circle. Okay. So now if we, let's say, imagine this circle and we can say that this is the center of the circle then this will be the direction of omega okay because if the wheel is rotating in the clockwise direction this angular velocity direction will be perpendicular to the plane of the wheel and it will be perpendicular to the plane of this wheel like this so if this is radius r i can also say and assuming that uh, the wheel center is in the same plane so i can say it is perpendicular to the plane of the wheel or it is in this particular direction now what is happening just imagine this as a wheel uh, if you see after certain time this wheel will come over here like this the wheel will come over here and the direction of omega again is perpendicular to the wheel so i can say the direction will be equal to it will be in this particular direction and omega so you can clearly see the magnitude of omega is constant but the direction of omega is constantly changing as the wheel is moving from one position a to another position b and clearly because of the change of direction there will be certain uh, angular acceleration of the wheel so that is where the question is now you have understood the question let me just try to solve this i can say that this vector omega is can be written down as omega as a magnitude into r cap where r cap is the i can say this is the r cap direction or this is the radial direction okay so this is the radial direction just like we do in a circular motion right so now d omega by dt will give me the change in the angular uh, velocity and this will be equal to d omega by dt r cap plus omega as we know that this r cap also because r cap is the radial direction and it also changes its direction and because of which uh, it is not constant so we'll differentiate this r cap and if you are not able to understand that please watch the polar coordinate theory as well so this is dr by dt now this is zero so i can simply say because we have assumed this to be constant and here I can say omega dr by dt. Now, this r radial direction is basically you can clearly see r vector or r cap is equal to r vector. This r vector because this is the radius r by magnitude of r. This is how we define any unit vector. Okay. Or I can say r vector is nothing but magnitude of r into cos of theta i cap this i have already derived sine theta j cap and differentiation of r cap will give me this 
differentiation will give me d theta by dt which is this change of theta so let's say this is theta so d theta by dt so r cap differentiation dr by dt will give me d theta by dt into into a unit vector minus sine of theta i cap plus cos of theta j cap this is a unit vector and this unit vector is in the perpendicular direction of r cap and known as the tangential uh, vector so it is moving in this direction we are so this will be theta cap perpendicular to this and this unit vector is in this particular direction so i can say this is equal to omega into d theta by dt which is not omega d theta by dt is the change in this this is theta which this radius is making with the wheel so if wheel will come over here the theta rate of change of theta is this so d theta by dt and this is where you should not confuse and i can write down theta cap because this is a direction which is tangential to or perpendicular to the radial vector so now d theta by dt this i can find out the relationship between this d theta by dt and this omega because the wheel is moving in this direction so i can say this whole thing can be written down as r into theta this s and i can say s is equal to r theta and ds by dt ds by dt which is equal to velocity of the wheel and velocity of the wheel can be written down as omega into r ds by dt is omega r is equal to this r which is constant into d theta by dt and therefore this d theta by dt will be equal to omega r by capital r so this d theta by dt can this will be d theta by dt and therefore I, if i replace that i will get the answer so d omega by dt it will be equal to omega into d theta by dt and this is nothing but omega r by capital R and therefore we will get omega square R by R. So here is your answer that rate of change of uh, or angular acceleration will be equal to rate of change of angular velocity and because the direction is changing because the direction is changing clearly you can see that because of the change of direction of omega there is an angular acceleration and that's why this question becomes a very good question because here the wheel is changing and you can do it by geometry also but clearly you can see that uh, if we use this concept of polar coordinate that makes question pretty simple so omega i can always write down uh, omega in terms of radial and uh, tangential direction and because this radial direction is changing uh, there is omega is also changing so this concept will be applied if you have already studied and you are in 12th or you are a repeater student you this concept can be applied in angular momentum as well right so we know that angular momentum at certain point also changes uh, when uh, the direction changes right so therefore you have learned that concept right so angular velocity uh, uh, angular momentum about the center of any uh, conical pendulum is constant but angular momentum about a top point or a hinged point it changes because there is a change in the direction so this concept can be applied there also and we can solve a lot of questions of angular momentum using the radial and tangential direction as well so i hope you are all understanding and liking these uh, questions please spend some time on these questions because although i am solving it assuming that you are already a physics lover who understands physics and uh, clearly someone who is just starting up or struggling with physics i think these questions are not the right questions at this point of time once you have gained the confidence then you should be doing these questions but right now i think all those who are struggling in physics should focus on the basics which i am going to start a series very soon for all those who are struggling in physics as well so thank you very much for watching this lecture please share it with as many friends as possible like if you like it uh, and Please share your comment if you have any doubts or you follow uh, the Telegram channel where I am always uh, there to help you out in a lot of ways. So thank you.